Hey everyone, welcome and thanks for taking some time out of your day to watch this. Just a quick video to make people aware of a free resource on our website. Uh, I developed a readiness assessment for nonprofits interested in federal grants but aren't quite sure if they're, well, ready to take the plunge. Uh, I'll have a link to the assessment in the description of the video, or you can visit our website to check out not only the, uh, the assessment, but our other free resources. All of the resources are either PDF or Word documents. They are 100% free. Just download them and off you go. Uh, I don't require people to give me their email address or any personal information. You know, in my opinion, it's not really free if there are strings attached, like adding yourself to a mailing list. Uh, I, I just don't roll like that. So, you know, if you want to stay up with me and what I'm doing, just follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, user ID at the Grant Doctors. Okay, let's get into it. Now, assuming that you're not going to take the shortcut and just clicking the link in the video description and you want to download the, the assessment from our website, the first step is to, well, go to our website, thegrantdoctors.com, and then click on the Services tab, and then over here, click on Resources, and the assessment is the first one on the page. It has a little, little description about it, and I just go ahead and click on the title, and the PDF will either download or open in a new window. Uh, let's see, so scroll past the cover page and the standard credits. You'll see an introduction about the assessment and the domains that, uh, that you're going to review, as well as instructions on how to use the assessment. It's based on a five-point scale, uh, but you'll only see definitions at the five, three, and one levels. If you fall somewhere in between, just go ahead and score a four or a two accordingly. And we'll just kind of skip by the table of contents. After the table of contents, you end up on the page showing you the specific indicators that will be measured within each domain governance, capacity, systems, and your external environment. Starting with governance, you'll see each of the indicators, and there's just two here, uh, each of the indicators with definitions on how to score at the various levels. There's a place to re uh, record your score and some room to jot down notes about the evidence you used to support the score that you assigned. I'm not going to bore you with <laughs> all 24 indicators. I'm not going to walk through each one of them, but um, I'll just kind of scroll through them so you can get an idea for what's happening here. At the end of each domain, there is a place to record your total score with instructions to transfer each total to a table at the end of the assessment. And we'll go into that in a little bit. So just work your way through. Here's organizational capacity. Work your way through all the indicators until you're finished. And policy systems and controls. Good, good, good. OK, we're almost there. Oh, wait, come on now. Okay, come on. External environment. Yeah, so just work th work your way through it. Obviously, go a little slower than I am. But uh, here we are. So on page 21, this is where the magic happens. In the raw score column, this is where you will have put your totals from each domain. And go ahead and you'll take the, the each raw score, multiply it by the weight to come up with the weighted score, add all of the weighted scores together to come up with your total or your final score, and then compare it 
to the table below to see where you stand. Not ready, ready, or beyond ready. So there you go. That's about it. My assessment is a little longer and a lot more detailed than other grant readiness assessments out there. Uh, just in my opinion, I found that most were just a little too binary or black and white. Um, do you have X? Yes or no. Have you done Y? Yes or no. Uh, that's not to say that they're bad and don't serve a purpose. I mean, I think they're probably just fine. Uh, I, I simply prefer, and I think it's more helpful, to look at things on a scale. Uh, that way, not only can you examine where your weaknesses lie, but also how far away you are from reaching you know, the satisfactory and the exceptional levels. Um, what else? Uh, one last thing before I wrap this up. You don't need to score all fives to be considered uh, ready to work with federal grants. I designed the assessment such that scores of three are good. Threes indicate your organization already has a solid foundation to build on, and with a few changes here and there, you can get to four and fives down the road. So don't sweat it if you're scoring a lot of uh, threes on the indicators. That's perfectly fine. Mm, okay, that's all I have. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or reach out by email or social media. If you found this useful, please like it and share it. And if you want to stay on top of things, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are posted. All right, cool. Catch you on the next one. Adios.